What do we got? We got ourselves Boomasaur. All right, Boomer. Okay. <laughs> it looks like he's taking a little bath in the... Uh, it looks like he was taking a little bit of a bath. Looks like it's going to be Cross up early, though, versus Asmita. Before I can even introduce the two teams, Wings coming out of the pallet and off the bat. Cross might just have to go for a bit of a wall, try to get a knock back onto Asmita. But it looks like it was a little bit of a pillar, a little bit of a hill. Not keeping him away. Does get the good slows that an elemental shaman should be. That's going to be some wheelchair mobility for the paladin. Which is something Kroth can definitely take advantage of. Him being also a uh, Draenei. That's something we never see. Light and Lassa is going to force the trick out of Asmino. Hoping to maybe get a hex. Does get the stun in between. Oh, getting trucked through the hex. What is that hex? He got interrupted. What is that hex? He is going to get himself a healing surge too. Hodge to follow onto the shaman. He doesn't have a trinket for this one. Might actually be dumb for the count. Does he get a knockback right here? He's going to get a wall up and running. Looking to get some mobility away from Asthma. Could be maybe a little bit of a bubble. Hand of freedom coming out. Kruath get himself a healing surge to too. Not want to get interrupted on. That actually might be in a bad spot. Lightning the last and last moment might be a bubble at Asmita. Does he have an earth to follow? Bubble coming out and down he goes. Asmita does end up taking him out. Cleaving the poor boy down in the very last second. Sivak already building up those arcane blast charges, man. He's already building them up in the opener. Uh, this is going to be Nat as well as Zachary on Team Blue. Hodge coming out to Sivak as Asmita goes for a little bit of a reset. Just get him some flash of lights back to back. Looking to maybe get a bit of a recovery. No bubble available. So he's basically naked and afraid when hanging out next to Sivark. He's trying to get those Arcane Blasts regardless. Going to be a bit of a Crucible to follow right after. Arcane Missiles does lock him out on Holy and down he goes. On Team Red though, we also got ourselves Valor up in the bag. We got Sly Angel. Right? Sly and Gel. <laughs> Sly with Kazoo and Greta. <laughs> Greta DK, dude. Sly trying to see if he can get himself a bit of an opener. Human Rogue. Playing that assassination, Marfredoth ready. Trying to get those poisons up and running onto Seawark. Poisons, dots, and bleeds, and everything. Took himself quite a bit of dot damage, too. Seawark just popped one single trinket on the guy, and that's it. He melted to half. That's a strong trinket for PvP. Arkham misses to follow for Seawark as it's trying to get some damage shredding into Sly. He's just trying to keep the poisons up and running to get a slow into Seawark. Cloak of Shadows to follow. That's quite a big defensive for Assassination Rogue with the mobility that Seawark has as an Arcane Mage. Might be a bad situation for Sly. Shadow stepping and Kidda shouting onto Seawark. He does get a trick it out. That's going to be Vendetta right now on Seawark right now with a bit of a... a, a Bit of a temporal rolling. Temporal getting himself huge healing out of his slide. Continue to continue the pressure. Might have to vanish out of this one in a bad situation. Does get a vanish off. Arcan Orb does miss. Does Sly have any kind of dots rolling on him? He looks like he's going to get himself some healing recovery. Sly needs to get himself a proper opener to Seawark. Ice block is available for Seawark if things really go terribly poor. Did Seawark use a Warlike Hellstone? He does a Boomasaur on his team. He's allowed to use Warlike Hellstones. He is allowed. Also, Nat. Okay, Nat is getting out, staying out of Feral form. That's another thing I want to check. Another thing I want to check. Blind onto Seawark. Sly is going to follow up with the Kidden Shot. Get on those Crucibles in there. Got the dots rolling with Seawark. Might be an Ice Block out of the poor mage. He's actually going to get an Invis for a second. Stealing some buffs from Sly. I guess any kind of hots he got rolling on him with a small shield to follow. Seawark just needs to get a little bit of damage away from Sly. He just needs to separate from the guy. Maybe one blink or two. He's actually getting himself quite a bit of healing from all this instant cast back to back. Ark and Blast to follow. Sly is kind of out in the open. No clock and shadows. Seawark actually blinking around the guy. Playing Ring around the Rosie with a boy. He keeps maintaining the slow as best as possible. RK missiles. He blinks away. Slime might be down for the count and down it goes. So you are taking out a second one. And next up is going to be Greto DK. Getting a big old grip. AMS in this a little bit early. Getting a full army up and running onto Seawark. He's going to go for a bit of a temporal. Needs to get some kind of slows onto the Death Knight immediately. Death's advance is up and running for the Death Knight. Cannot be stopped for a bit of time. Seawark might have to ice block this early before the Army of the Dead really does get any kind of value pressure on him. He doesn't really have a lot of healing to work with. He's trying to get as many instant casts as humanly possible. Short invest for a second. Knocked up the army. He knocked out the DK, knocked up the DK and the boys. And he's continuing to cast as many instants as he can. And he actually lived through the army of the dead while doing some substantial damage to Greto DK. 
Does hit him with the RK missiles behind the pillar with Crucible to follow. Might be enough damage already, actually. Greta could be going down. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. And Kazoo is up next. He's gonna give him the honor duel. He is gonna give him. Nope, he's not. He decided against it. He was thinking about it. He was walking to him. He was thinking about it. See, Mark is gonna have to run for a little bit longer. Shadow Mel coming out for Kazoo. Good thing he didn't meta that, did it, right? <laughs> That could have been that could have been bad. See Mark not gonna be able to catch himself any food in prison. It's gonna set himself up for a kazoo. See Mark though needs to maintain as many instant as possible. Needs to continue healing while dampen is only two percent. Kazoo needs to get super aggressive here. The slows on the demon hunter, however, are quite brutal. The class has a lot of mobility, but they don't really have a way to deal with slows. They don't have like a Bell Rush that takes him, you know, removes all slowing effects. It does get him mobility, but the passive mastery increases the movement speed. But if you keep him slow and keep him at arm's reach, you might just be able to survive the monstrosity that is DH. The four minute cooldown metamorphosis are huge, and Kazoo is starting to play off defensive already, using the Crucibles defensively. Seavex still continuing to kite the guys as best as possible. Arcane Barrages are popped on cooldown. Might have to ice block this here before he loses too much health. I think that's the right move right here. Into a root onto Kazoo. It's gonna land a palm from the guy. Trinket out of Kazoo with an imprisonment onto Seavark. Is gonna interrupt him on that. Oh, huge healing for Seavark. I guess the Warlock Hellstone just came up from Boomasaurus. It's gonna give him a little bit more of that sustainability and longevity. Still continue to get slow. He's knocking up Kazoo. I think during one of the fell rushes too. That's gonna cut, cut him off for a second. That's a quite, a quite a good Nether Tempest in the back onto Kazoo. Stalin onto Seavark as Kazoo is looking to close in. But look at just how much mobility he's lacking as he's just continuously slowed. As Seavark just keeping him sustainably slowed at our arm's reach. Metamorphosis is up for Kazoo. Still just continuing to get shredded from a distance. RK missiles are doing quite a number of damage. He got himself self heals and he's using Crucible defensively every single time. Try to just survive this. If he waits out long enough against Seavark, if he just waits long enough for this duel, he might have enough pressure. It looks like he actually just puts his weapons away. He's like, dude, this is so ridiculous. He's just so. I feel you, dude. I feel for you. Those slows from the Arcane Mage, but what can he do? Although Kazoo should be worrying about his own health. He's sitting at about 50%. He needs to get himself an I-beam and a bit of healing. Does get hit with an interrupt. That's gonna be Darkness trying to absorb as much of that Arcane missile damage from Seavark. It does allow Seavark to get at least one Arcane Blast to the face of Kazoo. Couple of casts of those Arcane Blasts trying to go for a bit of more missiles into the Demon Hunter's face. It's gonna be a temporal right now for Seavark trying to recover whatever he had. At a 15% dampening, does get a knock up onto Kazoo as he trades that stun. Mark and misses to fall like Kazoo does fall down. Is he Mark actually dismantling four people out of Team Red? But he's gonna be down on some very needed cooldowns against Valorup. It is a red paladin. And her freedom is up, cannot be spell stolen. Otherwise, it would have. Seavark actually catching an invis for a second. Ho 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 Look at him get it out of there for a sec. Had to wait out that hand of freedom for a moment. Arcane blasts, arcane barrages are just gonna be popped on CD, man. Look at that. Keeping Valor continues to slow it. Giving Seavark just a little bit extra healing every single time he casts it. Using that crucible to recover. Look at that, dude. Monkey in the middle. Cannot even reach the guy. Wings are up. The shining bright, but can't do anything about it. Maybe a Hodge to follow is trying to see if he can juke out Seavark, trying to run at him and then turn around immediately. That's actually going to be Blink on that Hodge. And that's going to be Valorb with another set of wings. Temporal up and running for Seavark. Shield of Vengeance up for Valorb. He's playing very defensive right now. 21% dampening. Does not get interrupted by Seavark. That would have been a perfect opportunity to catch that interrupt. That's still going to be RK Misses flying at that Shield of Vengeance. Valorb is starting to recover quite a bit of health. Seavark is trying to get to the other side of the map. There's going to be some pony up for Valorb. Maybe as a hand of freedom to continue chasing out to Seavark. But that's going to be slow as up and running. Valorb does get a hand of freedom rolling. But that's still going to be mobility up and running for Seavark. Where do you even go? I even I lost track of Seavark for a second. I was watching this duel very closely. Barrow catching a couple flashes of light. Bubble still available. Bop doesn't ever want to use it. That'll give Silver a great defensive to use. Trinket available for Valor, but things really go bad. And Seavark looks like he's going to be able to recover a bit of mana, a bit of food. Looking like he wants to sit down, and Valor is most likely going to mount up immediately. <laughs> Boomasaur is giving him the full setup, dude. The full treatment. Here we go, bud. The gang is together with the dude. The gang is here to cheer him on. He got a soulful reset. Valorb is going to go for a setup either way. So the team might as well 
<laughs> and then it's kind of funny. It's like, you know, it's like those boxing rings. Like when the bell rings, everybody goes to the corner and they have the guy with the water and the guy with a towel and the guy to patch you up if you're bleeding or whatever. That's basically what was the team blue, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Valp is stuck behind that tombstone. He just cannot leave the tombstone at all. He has to play around tombstone if he wants to find a way to beat Seawark. The dampening though is rocking into 10 minute mark. 31% dampening, boys. It's going to be harder for Valp to recover, but so will it be for Seawark. But in terms of damage, Valp got some big nasty damage. But the question is, can he ever catch up Seavark? If he cannot catch up Seavark, there's literally no way he can deal with him. He got the damage. He just had to make sure he got the cooldowns to catch up and stay with the guy. In terms of healing and cooldowns, Seavark got a block. Valorb got a bubble. I feel like they're matched. I feel like it's as even as it can get. Polly catching Valorb. It's going to allow Seaward to get quite a bit of damage, though. Getting those Arcane Blasts with Arcane Missiles to fall. It does have a strong dot rolling into Valor. So, with a Crystal Ball right after, he has a Pony up and Hand of Freedom. But it's not going to get super hyper defensive. Look at him. Getting a Hodge. Bailing out. Getting a couple of those Flash of Lights in there. Dampening is not going to really buy you any justice. But he didn't pop too many defensive cooldowns, did he? He did use Hand of Freedom, so he's going to be really behind on that ability. He is going to be behind when he needs that mobility. See if I try to see if he can catch him, but a lot inside. Valorb has nowhere to go with this pillar, dude. Nowhere to go. Getting the swings up and running. Trying to get some damage into the mage. Does not have Hammer of Justice to follow. And that's going to be the cutting spree. Hand of Freedom is up and running for Valorb. But see is way too fast. Knocking up Valorb as he goes pony up. And see is just blinking all over the map. Ruining to Valorb for a second. No Hand of Freedom available. See might be able to blast through the Shield of Vengeance. See if I got to pop actually. Missing that Arcane Orb for a second. But it's okay. Wings are still up for Valorb though. Arcane Melisauce for Seawark. As Valorb gives himself a second set of wings. Perfect opportunity for him to get some healing going. Arcane Blaster on the corner. Maybe Seawark does not get it. Does not get the interrupt onto Valorb. Pony up in a hand of freedom. Back up and running for the Paladin. Has the mobility to catch up to the mage. Is that going to be a blinks around the corner for Seawark? Has Ice Block if things really ever go bad? Chickens out of that HUD. It actually almost gets an interrupt onto Valorb as he goes for a bit of a heal. Arcane Missiles around the corner. Blinks and interrupt him on Cass. Does not have a way to heal. Does not even get a chance to bubble right now. Might you be spamming bubble right here? He's going to bubble and maybe look into Ann, Seavark while he's got a temporal up and running for Seavark. Valorb decides, you know what, I need to heal. I might be able to live this long enough if I heal right now. I might be able to survive this long enough if I heal right now. Might. Not a guarantee. 44% dampening. This is it, Valorb. This is your game, my man. This is your time. Your time to shine. And Seavark is going to go for a little bit of food right now. Huge recovery for him. Valorb should be trying to stop it. He's hesitant. He's very hesitant. He's bailing out a little bit too early. He could have ran out, but that's going to be a full reset for Seaver. Like, Valorb decides, you know what? No bubble. I need to at least have a full set of health. Maybe Shield of Vengeance. But can you do this? Seaver just needs to get you interrupted on the cast just once. That's all he needs. Does get that interrupt immediately. Maybe too early. Does punish him with some arcane missile around in the corner. I don't know if that arcane orb hit him. Valorb is running out of space to hide behind that line of sight. But the tombstone is just his playground. Hodge onto Seawark. Instant ice block. No damage is going to be taken by this mage today. He's just going to wait it out. Valorb got wings. This is where most of his damage comes from. He's going to wait out the full set of those wings. He's going to get a slow onto Valorb. He does get a, at least one judgment in there. He's full on health. He has the damage. His hands should be burning with how much damage he's got going on. He needs to commit that damage eventually. I guess he's waiting for a cooldowns or two. Shield of is up. Trinket available. Things never really go too bad. I don't know what he could really get interrupted on. Is he literally just going to wait for the bubble? He's actually just going to sit down. See where he's getting a full reheal. Valorb decides, you know what? I need the full reset. I am going to wait until bubble. Is Valorb going to be the one playing defensive? Is that what he decided? He's like, you know what? I'm going to wait for a minute. I'm going to get my bubble. F this mage. Invis coming up for Seawark. Trying to jerk out the poly. Does not quite get it. That's still going to be some Mr. Cast for Seawark. As he's got some cooldowns rolling. Hodge on the Seawark. Check us out immediately. Blink it back away from Valorb. Valorb goes behind the pillar immediately. That dot is quite huge. RK Missile shredding him. Valorb, you really are just completely, barely any health left. Shield of Vengeance is up and running. One interrupt and you might be in a bad situation. Looking to get some damage onto Seawark. At least gets a slow. Continue to flash the light like no other. RK Missiles are just going to catch him around the corner. Do some damage. And Valorb is still chilling. He does not want to come out. He doesn't want to come out. He wants Seawark to come up next to him. Seawark taking a little bit of a gateway back to behind the pillar. I guess he got himself a full reset. 
Oh my god. I think Steve is now is like, oh my god, this pillar, dude. I hate that pillar. I hate that pillar. Val waiting for wings. He's waiting for wings at this point. If anything, he's, the, the more he waits, the better it is for him. The only thing that he has to lose is this duel. If he waits, if he loses this duel after waiting this long, uh, what's going to happen to his reputation? What is his wife and kids going to think of him? What is the community members going to think of the Paladin Aura Hall next time he sees them? They won't even be able to look him in the eye. Arcane Muscle shredding Valor to about 50% of the shell. Does have wings. I think those are minute long wings. Or maybe a random proc for wings? Maybe? Was that what it was? He's going to use the wings to just heal himself. It's easy to percent dampening. He's trying to recover. He just tried to heal. I think those were minute long wings. Must have been. There's no way those were real wings. There's no way. See if I'm still trying to find an angle into Valorup the whole time. Minute 36 left in that bubble. Minute 36 in that bubble, boys. He's actually trying to see if he can mount up. See if I'm trying to maintain the dot onto Valorup, trying to keep himself low. Does catch him with RK missiles every time Valor pokes out. He's just gonna just take so much arcane missiles damage. Gets us low onto Sea Wark, does get himself some resources. Wings are up and running. Hodge and Sea he does pre temporal this damage. Valor is maybe trying to see if he can one shot him. Kinda hesitated a little bit, unless it was me lagging for a second. It looked like he hesitated for a second with his abilities. I don't really know if he if that's what happened. Maybe I lagged for a second. It looked like I lagged for a second because he just stood still for a moment. Maybe he was just like, oh wait, one of my abilities is not there. Dot rolling onto Valor does get interrupted onto our onto holy damage. 50 seconds left for those wings. See where hitting them with double crucible. Shield of is coming up as the last bash of defense. It breaks 60 minutes and 69% dampening. Nice. Develop is barely at any health. Not even 10% health. Blink by Sea Work back to behind Valor. He just barely survives it. Barely had it going. 30 seconds left on the bubble. And Sea Work goes for a big old fireball. You can't stop this guy! You can't stop him! Oh my god! Nice job, Seawork! I like that gameplay, man! I like that! That was very well done. Very well done. Great. Great play, Bavar.